All right, Joel, quite the honour to have the new Northern Stand named after you. How does the Joel Selwood Stand sound? <laughs> well, I was blown away, to be honest, uh, when it got mentioned to me that it was going to um, land that way. A huge honour, uh, to be honest. I rocked up at this footy club um, as a pretty raw 18-year-old, just wanting to love the game for what it is, and um, now to be recognised like this, um, yeah, it's amazing. So take us back, how did you find out, who told you, where were you, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, well it was early on in the year where Steve Hocking and I had a meeting um, and he had mentioned to me uh, there and shocked me by telling me that the Trust had put my name forward to the State Government, to, that they think that my name should go on top of the, uh, on top of the stand and um, yeah, I just, it was a pretty special moment between the two of us. Um, but yeah, obviously a lot had to play out between then and, and now, but um, yeah, I feel very special. Who was your first phone call? Was it straight to Brit, Mum, Dad? Who did you first call? Well, there was no phone call because I was so blown away. Um, it was a drive home and um, <laughs> just to think of all, like, all the good times that I've had here. Good and bad, uh, but in saying that, there hasn't been many bad. And uh, it was to think about the people along the way that have led the way. Uh, and and I, I instantly thought of a Frank Costa, um, Brian Cook, the team that I had when I first rocked up, um, Mark Thompson, Neil Baum. Then obviously the guys that have been around for a long time um, with me and they, they were obviously Hawk and um, Scotty, but also the players right back from the start all the way through. But obviously Hawk and um, Harry were two that um, I haven't told them, but uh, I, look, I look forward to them because this is a, you know, I get the name on the stand, but this is a big part of everyone. Let's go back there uh, for a bit as well. You were 18 years old when you walked through these doors for the first time. What would that, what would that young kid make of all this? Yeah, well, the 18 year old that walked in um, just loved the game for what it is. Um, and back then I just wanted to be the best player and get better with every session that I did. So he wouldn't have dreamt of anything like this, but, uh, the one stand that I always kept looking up at was the player stand and the premiership stand. Um, believe it or not, they, you know, I wanted to put the next number on the premiership stand, be a part of that team. Um, and, I, and I did that through every year of my 16 years. So I don't know what this stand will mean to others, but uh, I hope, if anything, it's one that people can come, enjoy the footy, know that the guys and girls are putting out their best performances and drive to get better every single time. But the love of the game, more than anything else. Well, the stand will carry your name. You will share the area and the precinct with a few other important names. I imagine that sits pretty cool with you as well. Yeah, sharing the precinct and the stand, obviously really important. Names that have been entrenched in Geelong history for a long time. Um, the Flanagan name, the Ablett name, um, Polly Farmer, and then Audrey Cope, who was the first captain of the women's side. Uh, it's been a bit over a year since you left the game. How have you made that transition from player to supporter? Well, probably become a better supporter than what I thought I would, mate, to be honest. I. Um, I come here and um, whether it be a men's game or a women's game, um, love it for what it is. I find it really difficult to believe that I did it for 16 years the way that I see them both men's and women's sides running up and down the ground and doing the hits that they do. But, um, you know, I, I love coming to watch, supporting. I think that, um, you know, we've got the girls in the finals at the moment. Um, hopefully that they will go really well. And, and then the guys need, a, you know, some fresh air and, and they'll be back in years to come. Now imagine having a stand named after you, you get the perks of having your own seat. Um, we want members to sign up and, and, and jump in and get their own seat as well. Tell us why they should be excited about 2024. Well, I think they should be excited about, you know, the young players that are coming through. Um, we've seen a, you know, a good handful of them. Um, and then we've seen some new guys that we've traded in um, over the last couple of years that will be more familiar with um, the game plan and, and the players around them more so than anything else. So uh, really exciting to see what brand the Cats can. I think, you know, at the best, um, you know, they can take it up to anyone and there's no better reason to sign up than watching footy here. A full stadium, blue and white, nice and loud. Um, I definitely look forward to it. And a final one, so I expect that we'll see yourself, Britt and Joey, uh, on this side of the fence a bit more this year. <laughs> yeah, we will be. We'll be back watching the footy. Um, I'm not sure if I get a seat in the stand. Um, I, uh, I look at it, I, I just think it's great for what it's, it means to Geelong more than anything else too. Um, this footy club. Uh, is the energy for the town in many, many ways and uh, we're represented really well um, and I know that the side out there will do a great job for us. So Joel, and on behalf of all of us, uh, members, staff, players, congratulations and thanks for your time. No, thank you very much, appreciate that.